What's up guys, Jean-Felix for Truffles on the Rocks. Welcome back to this channel and thank you very much for tuning in once again so we can make cocktails together. Today I decided I would tackle a very sensitive topic. This cocktail is so popular, if you're a bartender or a home cocktail enthusiast, you've crossed paths with this cocktail, that's for sure. But where it gets tricky is there are probably as many ways of making that cocktail that there are bartenders in the world. And even if it's quite hard to mess it up completely, some techniques are better than others. So that's the reason why today I wanted to share with you what I believe to be the best way to make the perfect mojito. So it might sound cocky to claim it's the best way and I hope I will not receive too much hate for saying so. But I've made a lot of mojitos in my life, I had quite a few as well, and the problem is many times they are not consistent. So the reason why I believe this is the best way to make a mojito is because with this technique you will get the same result every time. So let's not wait any longer and let's make that ultimate mojito together. Let's go. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is white rum, fresh mint, limes, simple syrup, and soda water. So full disclosure, this video was not sponsored. I simply happen to have a bottle of Bacardi White in my home bar, but you can use the rum of your choice. And before anybody comments something about the rum choice, let me say something. Even if pretty much any rum will work in this cocktail, I highly recommend you use a light Cuban style rum. Like Havana Club 3 years, for example, is a great choice. It is slightly more intense in flavors than the Bacardi White, and it stands quite nicely in a long drink like the Mojito. But that being said, I'm getting thirsty now, so let's jump into it. So how you get a great Mojito is by modeling the lime over the mint. So that way you get the juice from the lime, you extract the flavors from the mint, and also, but very importantly, you release the natural oils from the lime peel. And that what makes a great Mojito. Also, by modeling the lime over the mint and not the other way around, you make some kind of a protection between your muddler and your mint, so that way you don't end up with shredded pieces of mint all over your glass, which is not very appealing and very annoying when it gets stuck in your teeth. But the problem with modeling is you never know exactly how much juice you're gonna get, and it makes it very hard to balance with the sugar. So I like to juice my limes before, so I can measure up everything. But I still want the oil, so I keep the empty limes, I cut them into pieces, and I throw that into my glass. So that way, I get both the natural oils and a perfectly balanced cocktail every single time. Alright, so first step, you're gonna put a good handful of mint leaves in the bottom of your glass. Then we're adding our half lime, cut into pieces in the bottom of the glass. And then we can add our two ounces of white rum. Now you want to model gently, so you just want to push the limes against the mint to release its flavors while extracting the delicious oils from the limes. And keep in mind, you don't want to crush the mint leaves at this point, you only need to squeeze them a little bit to get the flavor out. So now you add your ounce of fresh lime juice, the one that we set aside earlier, and you add to that 3 quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Now it's time to add the ice. I like it with crushed ice because it's a summer drink, very refreshing, you want it as cold as possible. And remember, the more ice you put into your glass, the colder it's gonna get, so the less water it's gonna get as well. Then we're gonna fill it all the way up with more crushed ice and finish it up by topping with an ounce and a half of soda or sparkling water. I recommend at this point that you stir a little bit with a bar spoon just to make sure everything is well mixed. So once this is done, it's time for the final touch. For the perfect mojito, it is very important that you garnish it with a nice bunch of mint spray. Because keep in mind, almost 50% of what you taste comes from what you smell. So there you have it guys, to my opinion, the best way to make the ultimate mojito. Cheers guys. So that's it for me today guys, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you're gonna enjoy it. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below if you think this is a good mojito recipe. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and you can also turn the bell on if you want to make sure not to miss the next video. Speaking of which, it's gonna be very soon, next Friday actually, for more cocktails. Thank you very much again, have a great weekend, drink responsibly, cheers. Oh yeah guys, and if you ever order a mojito in a bar, there's something you don't want to do if you don't want to insult the bartender, it's this. That we call it ruining a mojito. Cheers.